now arriving at Li Jiang Tower. Good evening and welcome to WCU Esports. Tonight we have the NECC playoffs, the quarterfinals of Overwatch, WCU Slate taking on University of Nebraska at Kearney, UNK. I'm JoJo's Mojo. I'm Mountain Man. I'm Gummy Bear. How's it going? We are on Li Jiang. I know that this week there's a lot of new maps added to the map pool for Overwatch, specifically for playoffs. And this is a standard map for the Mountaineers, even though they weren't the ones who picked it. Nice. <laughs> we will be starting Goldeneye, Disagree, Rustic Ruse, Spongy Boy, and Shadow Knight on Western side of things. Western in blue, UNK in red. No idea what's going on in chat, but 10 seconds and we're about to get started. <laughs> yeah, sounds like they're, I guess whatever code they used allows for them to use skins. Hmm. But, I mean, I think right now the teams are just going to ignore it and get in. Goldeneye, Goldeneye leading the charge for WCU. And Rustic playing May, a little bit interesting. I know that Western is down Tofu, their main May player. So it should be interesting to see how things play out with that. Yeah, WCU Slay definitely has had a couple different lineups throughout the season, so I'm curious to see how they do all together. This is not a bad one, right there. Rustic. Great first take on, or by Rustic, onto UMK. A good rev though. Rustic looking to take out this Anna. Does they're going to be down a healer now? Cassidy almost falls. Red does find this. It's going to be Goldeneye. Or WC gets point first, but Western getting a bit lower in terms of walls present in this fight. All up to Rustic, still on point. Rustic probably gonna end up. Ooh, a great Maywall to just pop himself up and he's just gonna back out and try and survive. Doesn't quite do it correctly though. Krantz does find them. Still, WCU getting, winning that first fight, getting up to 31% there, so. Good start here for the Mountaineers. I mean, Pulse Bomb from UNK just finds Shadow Knight, the only find in that. I mean, not a great use of the Tracer roll. No, but it, it's, it still got something, so I guess it was useful. <laughs> I mean, yeah, at the end of the day, it did do something, which is better than doing nothing at all. Ooh, Spongy Falls, Dis Falls, Rustic Falls. Golden Eyes, the only one alive for Western, and you probably end up backing out here. Or just get taken out. Yeah, we're tied in percentage now, but UNK. Essentially getting a team kill there on WCU, so... Mountaineers are going to have to regroup and go back at it. I mean, they're in control, but they're also losing the ult fight here. WCU just about at three online, closing in on four. And, I mean, UNK only has one closing in on two, three. So, UNK using a lot of their ults just to be able to compete right now and get that control and keep the, keep the possession. So, overall, I'd say the fight's in WCU's favor based on that. Take a minute. One did go down. Yeah, and it looks like Western's going to regroup and letting their team get back. And they're going to try and have all five ults online so they can just... I forget what they call it, but just use one and wait and only go one at a time. Oh, it's around. Around. Well, WCU definitely likes to use at least two at a time, though. You can kind of, depending how you use on which characters, you can uh, make them more effective. Mercy did end up coming with Nez onto their Cassidy, but not something that's going to be huge. Slammin only finds Sponge, Goldeneye finds Slammin and Red in exchange, and Krantz to follow up. WCU really winning this fight. It's up to the Ana who doesn't get it. Ooh, it is overtime though, and WCU is going to take over. So right now, Western has a big uphill battle. The top three ults there, they're only going to have Bastion's air raid, I guess, and then Lucio B to try and defend for the next little bit. Never mind, as they use the Bastion air raid. Yes, that's a good pick. Good takeout on the tank, and it's going to be harder for UNK to approach on. The res does get taken, but Reinhardt going to get blocked off and quickly picked off. Western maintaining control. 
making sure they don't back off point. UMK trying to use their trace for their best, I mean, essentially as best they can to try and get that point and get out when it didn't work. They have a pretty good support, but they still, still have the beat, so just in case, I mean, they still want to use their beat. I mean, and they're about to have Shatter to approach with too, but it's up to Goldeneye and Rustic for the moment on point. Oh my goodness. Great Shatter, but it's not going to be enough, and UNK I think is going to win this fight here in just a second. And they will, that'll be it, unless WCU can get back in time, which it doesn't look like they will. That will do it for round one. Ooh, dis, just shy of the control. Man, how many Shatters was that? <laughs> Quite a few. That was a, that was a fight of the Reinhardts, yeah. it seemed like. I mean, it looked like in terms of just the fight of the Reinhardts, Goldeneye won that, but just as a team, UMK took control early, fast, and held it well. Using all their ults at once seemed like a mistake at first, but it worked out for them. It did. It's always not about, like, one person. If one person's doing good, but the other team's doing better, it's going to be the team that's going to win the fight. Can't just win off one person. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. but we will see how things go in round two here. This is a best of three round and then a best of five competition. This is only game one in the series, so this doesn't necessarily determine how it goes, but it's always better to start out stronger and have that first game win and just to be able to use that momentum to carry you forward. Yeah, both teams fighting to essentially just stay alive throughout the rest of the semester. Uh, it's one out elimination here, so the winner of this will move on to semifinals. There's a back line from, I believe it is Krantz coming in. It is Krantz. As the Tracer, it's going to be a battle of the Reinhardt's as well. Symmetra being disagree. Right now, the WCU winning this fight 2-1. to one. About to be 3-1 to one is that Reinhardt's about down. It, he does fall. And that's a great trade from... WCU's perspective, taking out a Reinhardt and only losing a DPS or two here or there, that's amazing. Absolutely. That was the second, I guess, right off the get-go victory from WCU. Last time they got up to 31%. We'll see how long they can hold it here. I think that this map is specifically a lot better for WCU of Li Zhang, being that they like to play a bit more physical and up close and personal combat, and this is generally working better. Goldeneye does fall there after getting a very fast pick on two of the Mercy in the back. Oh, man, he got but a little greedy. <laughs> for a bit too much, but yeah. right now, Dis setting up the Symmetric turrets in the back in this control area, right, which is going to be huge in this fight. Especially if used correctly, but falls to capacity. And right now, it's going to be a team win in terms of UMK. Yeah, this time, WC got it up to 39% before UMK took over. Mountaineers are going to have to kind of work together. Looking at alts, WCU soon to have three. With three on board, soon to have four now. So definitely could be beneficial here. The only real difference right now in terms of alts is UNK being a little bit ahead overall as they have three closing in on five. And Disagree going to fall really fast to Grants. Goldeneye does find snipes. Ooh, and Red with a great shatter finds Rustic Sponge and Slam and finds Goldeneye, so Shadow Knight gonna try and back out, unable to do so, and WCU using two ults. Wonder, Excuse me, losing the fight, but I wonder if there was bad communication, because I saw I saw this teleport on point, but then the rest of the team was still on the left side. Oh, yeah, both teams still have two ults though, so. Mountaineers going in aggressive. And they're going to get some metro wall too, but it really changed the course of this fight. Three quick kills, and it's going to be a team kill for WCU almost instantly. Yeah, well played there from the Mountaineers. UNK only getting to 60%, WCU now coming up on 50, so pretty even matchup here in game two. And right now, the only one on WCU closing in on their ult is Shadow Knight, and that's a still a ways away, right? And then the Sojourn ult is unrealistically good for UNK to approach with, so it's going to be really interesting to see how this goes. Yeah, if that Sojourn gets pocketed out of Mercy, it's going to be a one-shot kill to the head of the Railgun. And that's what they're doing now. We do see Sojourn ulting and hiding this, both in PS death for WCU. Right now, Western with a huge turn, or a huge percent advantage. Or not a huge, but a percent advantage. 
and it's going to be up to Goldeneye who does fall off the map, so they're going to probably need to wait, regroup, let Disagree, use that teleporter to get in on the point to be able to stay alive in this second game, yeah. or the second round. I still think WCU's in a good spot. They're going to have two alts going into this potentially last fight if they're able to cap the point and hold out UNK, but both teams playing, playing pretty well. There's a teleport that isn't really used by WCU at the moment. A big charge in from Goldeneye is going to be setting the Western up for success. He did at some point have a switch from Slam and going over to Soldier. Now I know there's a little bit of history between these two teams earlier this season. WCU a little bit more upset with how that game went and with UNK having the uh, having some just issues. I think it was either a teabag or a mid-fight pause or something that happened with this team that just made Western unhappy. So there's a lot more on the line tonight than just making it past first round. For Western at Ooh, great Blizzard coming out from Rustic and WCU looking to win this team fight. It's gonna be the Mercy trying to stay alive up high with that Valkyrie. Roll. It's gonna be a revive onto the Reinhardt. Which is gonna be focused, I think. It's gonna be a huge team fight. Western really needs to win this to just stay alive. Ooh, right now they're losing it, and they just lost their tank. That's going to be big against... And that's going to probably be it, I think. I think it's all on Rustic, still on point. And Shadow Knight needs to get in fast. And unable to do so, just misses it. Half a second away from getting the touch. Game 1 goes to UNK, but overall a really... Not... Okay. I was about to say. <laughs> not quite sure that... 12 means 1, but <laughs> uh, overall I think Western had a great first round, great first game, and this is a lot of momentum that they could push upon and work with for the rest of the series. Yeah, I feel like that definitely could have gone either way. WCU didn't put up a great showing that first game. They did win that first point and were able to get back on it, but that second game, WCU looked good and almost had it there, so... We're going to take a short break here, and we'll be back to it in just a minute.
Welcome back to game two. We are on Midtown, a hybrid map. You have to control the point and then escort payload through to the end. WCU picked Midtown. I'm not too sure how I feel about that. They practice a lot of the new maps on their practice day this week, but Midtown, not one that we've seen success with them. No, we've definitely seen them struggle. We did see last time we were playing a pretty cool play. Uh, I forget That's what true. team we were going against, but here at this choke point, they teleported across, kind of dodging everybody, and then just pushed the back line, and it worked very successfully. I'm curious if WCU has been practicing that or not. I don't know. They might try and adopt that strategy, but we'll have to wait and see. I think it was WCU Black who saw that against them mm. last time, not Slate. Oh, okay, that's fair. So, it's one of the cooler plays I've seen on this map. So It was really smart. It just depends on how well people are going to be able to use it. And it's interesting seeing Goldeneye go Reinhardt here. I know that on this map, Sigma tends to be a preferred tank. So having the Reinhardt, which is an up-close and personal uh, tank, is different. I would agree. Yeah, the one thing they really got to worry about is like if they do get this first point, that bridge, if the the defensive team is on the high ground, it's kind of kind of hard to get past. Ooh, they're playing that split. Interesting play here. I think they're trying to force attention one side and just be able to flank around the back. Looks like WC is going for the flank just to put pressure on. Grants does find Golden really fast in this fight. Not a great loss for WCU. Western actually looking to try and take the high ground here instead. Not too sure how I feel about that one. Yeah, I think WCU just trying to get an early pick and then push from there. Disc going Brigitte, also an interesting pick for attack. Brigitte, one of the more interesting healers, having to be a fast and physical player with not a ton in the healing department. I wonder if WC is mainly trying to focus on trying to build up that rally and go off of that. Yeah, be careful with those walls. And this actually going to be going over to Anna now. I don't think WC has gotten a pick yet. No. no. UNK's been really strong and I think from what we saw earlier this year they were really strong on this map too. Ooh, this just got shut down by Prance there. Prance just seeming to find them everywhere he goes. Two and a half minutes left. WCU can, they could do a lot. They just need to really work on pushing hard together. I think they're just waiting to group up here as a team, but. See Rustic just trying to peek around the corner and get some, hoping for some form of a headshot. I think Rustic does find snipes in the back. Huge pick for WCU. Gold Knight gets taken out though, but that is an exchange for UNK's tank. So Western, I mean, two supports, a healer. Oh, there's the rev. I mean, that mercy is just unreal. Not something that you can really do anything against as Western. I mean, they were up one. I mean, they. They should have at least pushed a little uh, further. Yeah. Should have pushed, tried to take that mercy out, or at least prevent the, the res. Res, yeah. We do see Bob coming out from Rustic. A very usable ult, but it gets frozen by the opposing team's May, and that will be a Bob taken out as well as Goldeneye once again. It's like UNK is just trying to shut down Goldeneye specifically. And Goldeneye will switch over to the Sigma. I think a better decision here. Maybe. I, I don't know, because if the Reinhardt keeps the shield up and just the team stays behind the Reinhardt, then you won't really get a lot of value with the Sigma, which I know, personally. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Golden's disconnected. Unfortunate. And you can't pause during the middle of a fight, so... WCU maybe going to look at backing out for a second. And they will call for a pause. Um as Goldeneye ends up disconnecting. I think the computer fully froze on him. Uh-oh. As we've seen before with this specific computer he plays on. Okay, well, we are down to 44 seconds remaining for WCU. What do you think they can do differently to push this point? I mean, oof. I feel like Aramachi would be 
kind of good against the Reinhardt, but then you also got to think about the Bastion because he does shred, mm. so it's kind of a. I would say you can he could stay on Reinhardt, but it's kind of hard to say because they're every ult that they try throwing in is just getting canceled by either getting walled off. May using her ult, that's she's been a big factor. The res has been a big factor too. It's just a lot. I mean, the main thing I think here is that WC is going to really have to approach on Spongy Boy's EMP. That is a big ult for Western to have, and it's going to do a lot if they can approach on it. But it's really going to be approaching on it that's the big issue, as Western is just getting sectioned off and picked off one by one. I think we're going to see all six ults used in this last fight. We are reaching Final Fight territory, something that has not been said in a while. We do see EMP coming out, so you're okay, I'm able to use anything. There comes the Shatter out from red. And WC is looking to pick off that tank really fast. Isn't, is able to do so, but it's going to be a four player kill onto UMK. And it's going to be <laughs> Dis trying to take this point on his own, can't do anything. And that is going to, I think, just be it. It was worth the try. It was worth the attempt. Yeah. And all UNK has to do, or yeah, all they have to do is get to that point and just control it for long enough. Yeah, another thing too that I noticed is that every single fight that they went in, they weren't grouped up as a team. It looked like one was split off, the other one was on another side, and that's what it kind of looked to me. Everyone was just kind of staggered from WCU, and that really made the difference. UNK played as a unit, and I think that Western just needs to figure out how to combat that. Yeah. As long as they group up, they sh they should be able to leave. I mean, they could still maybe win this round, depending. <laughs> maybe go to a tie. <laughs> I mean, going to a tie would probably be the best case scenario, and if they tie from there as well, then that's gonna be big for Western. Yeah, I mean, they can still come back from this. I mean, it's not a lot. A lot, lot can happen. <laughs> Goldeneye holding pretty pretty up front. I'm curious if uh, this game plan is just to get an early look, see if they're coming this way or going down to the right. I think that's the main idea that Golden has, is just trying to see where UNK is trying to push from and maybe trying to get a little bit of early damage as well. And it's interesting to see that WCU doesn't have their normal idea of having a Mercy and a Bastion on this corner. I really like to run that just so that they can get that boost of damage and really attack. And UMK is going to be going very aggressive on the high ground, trying to do anything they can to just get this point fast. Rustic almost falls, but ends up getting saved by Dis. Sponge now very low, almost falling, but staying alive just barely. And Dis comes over to support. Rustic losing a lot of health, and being low as Junkrat is not favorable. I mean, right now, Rustic does find a quick pick onto Slam, and Metro Blue answers, though, finding Rustic. Interesting, as you don't normally see a Mercy getting headshots or kills, for that matter. Yeah. WCU finds two to return, and then finds the third, and it's going to be all on the red, who they just claims Golden and gets picked off. WCU now ho has a bit of an advantage in terms of ult usage and in terms of just winning that first fight, something that they really couldn't do last time. Yeah, that was huge for WCU. Honestly, they just got to hold them out for another two and a half minutes, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. just win a couple more fights and keep the momentum going. If they can use these ults right, I think they should be able to hold it out. It just depends on how they use it. Especially with Goldeneye getting as low as he was there. Almost ended up falling, but staying alive just barely. Rustic does find Krantz, the Tracer, which is a really nice pick. It looks like Goldeneye might be trying to go into the Shatter. Goes for it, finds three. And there's a triple kill on WCU. Red gonna be picked off here now too. Well, so even though WCU loses three in that fight, both supports falling actually. It's gonna be Rustic and Goldeneye staying on trying to survive. There is a Pharah, something that is hard for Western to try and counter. And 
Golden just gets shredded. On point is UNK. WC needs to get back. We do see Shadow Knight there. And Western really needs to touch here. They might end up C9ing if they don't. And they do C9. They completely ignored the point and just... UNK took it. So we'll wait here for just a second as... UNK takes this first, or takes game two in the series, puts them up 2-0. Western needs to win this next game or their season is done. Should be interesting to see how this next map goes though, as it is er, escort. You have the car and you have to push it as far as you can. So, one of Western's better maps and it could really change the momentum, but we will take a small break here as we get ready for game three.
to Route 66. Initiating match. Welcome back. We are after a decent chunk of break. We are now back for game three on Route 66, a map that was added for playoffs, I believe. Uh, we see a couple of lineup changes from WCU. Uh, a couple we haven't really seen, and I'm well, really I mean, interested. This it's, one's questionable. It's one main, <laughs> it is one change, I should say. It's just one player swap, but that's it. Yeah. It is Disagree going on to Tank and Goldeneye going to DPS. I'm pretty sure, yeah, Goldeneye mainly plays Soldier, so he's going to be trying to focus on that Mercy and take it out. No, I'm going to critique Dis on this one if he's going D.Va, bro. I'm not going to lie. If I see something, I'm going to point it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going to hard judge Dis. Gotcha. On, uh, yes. Start an attack. I feel like on defense, you really want to have a shield. Uh, probably attack, too, though. So. Yeah. I'm I honestly think that here a Reinhardt would be a lot better. Reinhardt on Route 66 is unreal to try and beat. Yeah. Coming from experience, <laughs> playing defense Losing to many on this. Reinhardts. <laughs> yes, getting bodied by the Reinhardts, just sitting on payload and blocking. But Five. we'll see how this goes. WCU has to win this game. This is it. One. Season is over if they lose. So they're in a sudden death situation. I do like Rustic playing the Junkrat, though. And I do like Sponge on Kiriko. Those are two really great picks for this map, yeah. specifically. I know that Junkrat can get a lot of weird angles and quick... Mm hits on the corners, which is wonderful. I think it's going to be interesting seeing a Hanzo and Sojourn on E1K, though. That's yeah, a, I would agree. That's a really solid combo if they play it right, and right now it's looking like they are. But UCU just unable to really get a huge lead, and their Mercy is just flying around right now. And they kind of pushed the cart to that first choke point, but really done much since there's the first pick so nice. in I mean, favor a good, of WCU. I mean, yeah, great pick onto uh, the Hanzo which immediately gets revived <laughs> which means the revive is wasted. If WCU can take out this tank they're gonna have a great push opportunity here. Yeah. Goldeneye does find Anna, the, one of the main healers or the other healer for UNK but there Anna's been dangerous. Jump. Rustic does fall there to plants. Right now, Western really needs to find a way to answer this Sojourn sitting on the high ground. Yeah, I think the one person that probably could do that would be who's playing D.Va. I mean, with D.Va, it's kind of like you have to play with, uh, see who is like out of position and like focus that one person to just get that first kill. It's kind of how D.Va's kind of played. I do think the main advantage for Western here is going to be that this spawn point is right there. They get to come back into the fray immediately. It's just a matter of how do they counter this team that is sitting on the payload? And sitting on that high ground getting damage boosted all the time. And I do think WCU, again, kind of the same throughout this whole map, needs to take care of this Mercy. This Mercy has been just kind of keeping UNK alive. Yeah, so. and that Rust and Rustic gets found by Krantz. Really big pick for UNK there. Disagree just gonna get shredded as he gets taken out of the mech for the first time. And overall, ooh. I mean, three, a triple kill for Krantz there is insanely good. Looking at trying to get the fourth. Does, Slamming gets the fourth against Rustic and WC is just gonna have to fully regroup. Yeah, that wasn't really a good decision by Diz to like go in. Kind of looked like he went by himself and got shredded. Surrounded, surrounded by the whole team. <laughs> I think the main thing here is if WCU tries to... I think what they're going to maybe try and do is push off of D.Va's ult here, using that mech as a bomb to just shred whoever they can. We do see a Kitsune rush come in, and Des is going to maybe try and backline the mech, but no. Yeah, he will. There's the mech pop. No one found. Triple kill to... Quad to answer on the other side of things. And a revive from Metro. Jesus. WCU just can't do anything about this Mercy. Man. I always say it's extremely challenging to play against a solid Mercy. Yeah. So, this confuses to where his bomb went, but I can tell you from yeah. I can tell you from how we saw it. It went around the corner and into the building. So yeah, I don't think that would have gone. Poorly gotten aimed. Way. It just was unfortunate because it caught that curve on that sign, which is right behind where Krantz is right now, and just sent off to the side. Down to 30 seconds remaining, WCU is going to have to push this cart in overtime if they're looking to reach that checkpoint. 
I mean, a good pick onto Metro. There is the res off onto Krantz, which is big for UNK, but WCU having that pick onto Mercy could do a lot. GoldenEye gets taken out. Slamming gets taken out. This finds Krantz to answer, but Slamming is just doing too much as Hanzo. Red falls now. Slamming. Nice eat. Yeah, WCU on the move, eat. finally. And Western on the move. They're going to have three people on checkpoint, but two from UNK going to come and answer. UNK right now. just kind of regrouping. They're definitely just going to group up for this last fight here. This is final fight territory. If Western doesn't win this, that's going to put UNK in a much better position than what we would want to see. Nobody Krantz gets very card. low. Kind of old for a <laughs> Oh no. Sponge does get taken out by Krantz. It's going to be up to Shadow Knight. Rustic gets taken out. And they left Cart. C9 and once again. WCU just can't focus on the cart. Just wondering. It's just probably felt too much pressure. It's just like, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> but still a decent second half push in the final 30 seconds. WCU able to move it about double what they had for the first half of the game but they're gonna need to do some work here on defense if they want to keep their season alive yeah, I, I don't think i don't think diva would be the the pick here if they're going if they're coming out with a reinhardt i don't think that's the best pick you can get i'm gonna be honest i'm expecting the ball from this i'm expecting to see wrecking ball i mean if you play him right you can you can get a lot of value out of ball but that's the thing is like playing him right <laughs> playing him right yeah i mean that same could be said about any character we do see diva for the moment i wonder if that's going to change at all I would hope it would change, and it's not. <laughs> not going to, so I'm curious to see how this goes. But again, if played right, Diva could change the course of a battle. But if played right, if if yeah, right now Western just needs to have an incredible hold on this first choke point, but they just can't seem to find any answer to UNK's mercy. Yeah, I mean Metro Blue playing mercy for UNK, clearly a mercy main, and. They were good at it, so. Five, four, three, two, one. Incoming. And here we go, starting off as UNK is getting ready to attack. They're going to be trying to push this high ground, taking Rustic out is the goal. And this is where Western got held, right where... Oh, UNK goes, but Spongy Boy gets taken out really fast in this fight. This is not looking good out of the gate for WCU. Rustic almost. Rustic does fall here to Krantz. Disagree gets slept. And Shadow Knight trying to get that Mercy taken out isn't able to. And that is five. Almost everyone on WCU taken out. That is everyone on WCU. And now UNK just has to hold this area. Oh, Spongy Boy trying to go in and get the touch. Just can't get there in time. It's going to be all on Rustic to get the touch. Rustic gets the touch in just the nick of time. Disagree does play ball now to get onto the point. Trying to find anyone. And it's all up to Dis to stay alive. Dis trying his best, but it's tough. The full team of UNK just gets pushed off, and that is going to be it. WCU losing 0-3 to UNK. I think that's the exact same thing that happened last time they played. Man. Yeah, definitely that first game, WCU looked good, but UNK found their stride and was able to win it in three here. UNK will be moving on to the semifinals. I mean, overall, not a bad showing from WCU. They just couldn't find an answer to that mercy. And that, I mean, Krantz playing all, playing like this is unreal. So, yeah, that'll be it for us here at WCU Esports. I'm Mountain Man. I'm JoJo's Mojo. I'm Gummy Bear. Take care.